Good morning, you beautiful people. I am going to answer another Q&A question here. This is Rachel, the Modern Shaman. And again, you can access these videos through my YouTube site by just subscribing to the Modern Shaman. And if you'd like to contact me, you can find me. Dang it. Did that just stop my video? Oh no, good. Somebody called. Sorry. Um, you, can, you can find me on my website, which is just themodernshaman.net. Okay, so the topic today, it was a topic, it wasn't so much a question. Um, they say, can you talk about the questions I should be asking my guides? Um, I'm a little stumped as far as where to start in our communication. That's what they were saying. So questions. Um, I'm going to broaden that topic just to be the power of questions because this is huge um, and anybody who regularly connects to spirit, which is all of us because we are spirit, we're always connected whether we know it or not, but those of us that try to make conscious connection know that this is very important um, to be in alignment with our intentions and have clarity of focus because we live in a world of free will. That's what this earth is about, right? Duality, the power of choice, options. So that provides the ability for our growth, right? Our development. But having said that, spirit abides within the laws of free will. So they don't save you unless you ask to be saved. I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to try and do this quick. So one time I got in a really bad car accident. I was driving down the freeway. This was in Texas, and I my car had no air conditioning, and so I had all the windows down because my seats were like black leather, and it got so hot in that car. So I'm driving. Something happened. I can't remember what it was, but it sent my car into a spin, and I spun off the side of the freeway, and I hit one of those poles that holds up the name of the exit that you're about to exit on. And those poles are made to where they break away really easily because um, they don't, you know, they don't want the whole thing to fall on all the cars that are driving in the middle of the freeway. So they're kind of structurally made to where the bottom poles can break away and it can still hold up by side poles. Anyhow, one of those poles broke away, went through my windshield, went through the back of my headrest where I was driving, right? And went through the back windshield. Now that happened of course in like a split second. While that was happening, you know everything was in slow motion for me, right? When you're in that moment it's like super slow and you can see everything happening. And I slid my body underneath the steering wheel somehow. I squished all the way under <laughs> where my where the feet go, you know, and dodged it and somehow without my conscious mental effort, without using my brain, my body, my spirit, my soul shouted out, I don't think it was out loud, but it's definitely loud in my heart and my mind, save me, I wanna live. I remember it so distinctly. And I was saved. And I felt, I, I felt exactly what I was saying, I meant it. And it was done in that split second. That's the power of total, complete alignment with what we want and what we're asking for in those moments. Because obviously it was an extreme situation, so I really meant <laughs> what I was saying um, and was in total alignment with that. But I think it just, it's an example that shows how important it is for our questions to be in alignment vibrationally about what we mean. Because so often what we do is we send out the request verbally. We say, God, spirit, angels, whoever we're talking to, I really, I want to be out of this relationship. It's a crappy relationship. I don't get anything out of it. I don't feel loved. I, I want to be out of this relationship. Spirit, can you help me get out of this relationship? Can you show me what to do to get out of this relationship? So there's our question. That's what we're, that's what we're posing, right? And yet in our head, we're saying, I don't know if I should leave them. I don't want to be lonely. 
I don't really want to just wake up by myself. Maybe something is better than nothing. You know, and we're doing this and we're counteracting the vibration that we're sending out. And so it's all muddled. So what does spirit give us back? They're aligning to the uh, vibration that we are sending them. So if we're sending them a muddled vibration, the answer is equally muddled because they're giving us what we're asking for. Exactly what we're asking for. So I say this to my clients too. When they come, I say, you know, be aware that in whatever energy you're asking the question, my answer will vibrationally be in the same way. So if you have a broad question, what should I do with my life? The answer will come back in a broad tone, just like your question. If you have a specific question, should I take this job or that job? The answer will come back in a specific form, that job. Because you asked it in a specific vibration. So questions are key. And learning how to really think through, what do you want to know? What do you want is key. Sit down and take the time and keep breaking it down smaller and smaller. So let's take that example of the relationship. What do you want out of that? What is it that's not satisfying? Do you want a relationship that has peace? Do you want a relationship that offers you companionship? Do you want, you know, get clear. It doesn't mean you have to have an image of what they look like in your head. They need to have, you know, brown hair, brown eyes, this height. You know, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying the core of it. How does it feel to you? What is it that you really want to experience? and that you think that these experiences in life are gonna give you. So it may not be these ABC experiences that are gonna give you that feeling, but spirit will give you the exact experiences that will give you the feeling that you want or the experience that you want, if that makes sense. Um, so clarity is very important. Asking yourself, you know, what do I wanna know? And then also, how do I wanna receive the information? If you know that you are a visual learner, ask for it in visual clues. Tell spirit how you want to receive the information and not just like slap me over the head with it. I mean, you know, if you're a clear audience, say, speak it to me in my inner ear. If you are a dreamer, say, I'd like the messages to come in my dreams tonight when I'm dreaming. If you are, um, you know, a writer say, I'd like to have dialogue with you and I'd like the answers to be clear in this automatic writing dialogue that we do. Um, know yourself well enough to know how you need the information given to you. And if you don't know that about yourself, say to them, Spirit, look at me, listen to me, see how I would receive this information best in the clearest possible way and give it to me in that way. So there's lots of types of learners. There's lots of types of connections to spirit. And you can say to spirit, whatever way you think I would get it the best, I would assimilate it the best in my body, give it to me in that fashion. Um, okay, so getting clear about your question, getting clear about how you want to receive your answers, and then getting clear about what you want as the end result. Okay? Um, I want to know this answer because I believe that it will give me direction in my life. Because I believe that it will help me feel peace. So much of life comes down to peace <laughs> and contentment and joy. It does. You can break these things down, all the things we want in life, at least for me. Most of it comes down to peace and love. Um, anyhow, get clear about what you want in the end, what you want the resolution to feel like also. Um, as much clarity, clarity as you can give, again, spirit can come back in a mimicking clarity because they're aligning to the vibration that you're sending out in that question. So I hope that's helpful to you. I love you all and be blessed.